What's up guys and welcome to my channel if you have not ventured over here already. Woo! Jazz hands! Today I'm going to go through what is in my gym bag. So I work as a fitness instructor and personal trainer and I take my gym bag everywhere with me. It lives in my car and all my equipment in it because you never know when you need when you need stuff, right? And lots of people have been asking me where I got them from, what I use them for, and their benefits. So I thought I'd clarify it all in a video. So to start with, I have my gym bag. This is from Nike, from Nike, by Nike. Um, and it's a silver number. I thought it was quite unique, which is why I got it. And it's actually quite spacious and has various pockets and front pockets. I forgot to show you the inside of it. Well, it's got all my crap in it. Let me just empty some of this out. I'm just going to go through it all, but you know. It's got like pockets in here. Um, as well inside, as well as the front, oh, the front two pockets here. And there's a zips here and here. And, here. Woo, and that's my gym bag. Next I have one of my favourite things to do. To do? To use. My barbell squat pad. This is by, oh, let's put it this way around. Power Guidance. And oh, it's a bit dented in places. I love it for squats, hip thrusts. It just is great. The only issue is that sometimes I get it when I roll it, it comes out because you push it in through the gap. Um, but it's not a major issue. And also I like the bit in the middle because it's so comfortable on the, on the neck. Um, and also comfortable on the hips as well. Um, all my equipment, if I have the link, I will put it below for you and it will also be on my blog where I clarify what I use it for and links and just, it's just, it just has a lot more info. <laughs> yes, so this is our barber squat pad. It also comes in black as well. The only reason I got the pink one, because it was cheaper and that was it. Boxing gloves! By the way, my favourite colour isn't pink, if you, well it isn't, it's actually purple, but I quite like the pink ones. These are a 12 ounce, and I use these for class, and for warm up sometimes, and they're just fab. Apart from when you have long nails, like I do, I got my nails done and I, it, it, it just about squeezes in and I'm worried it's going to break it, but I mean, they're fab love them if you want your own pair because I hate the communal like we have a whole box of communal boxing gloves and they just smell and you take it out in your hands and you're like no I'd rather have my own sweaty boxing gloves thank you next I have my bands which I have in my Ravenclaw I think this is a pencil case or makeup bag but I use it for my bands and I love it this is from Primark I think it was like four pounds so I have um, my short bands which are all kept in this wee Bag. This is by Starwood Sports and it comes in different colours with different strengths and it actually says the strength on it. So we've got green which is a uh, light, uh, medium which is a blue, um, heavy which is a red and extra heavy which is a black. But yeah these are fab, love these. Okay, next I have my long resistance bands that I mainly use for pull-ups, but I recently found more exercises that I could use them for, which is fab. Um, I've only got two in my bag at the minute, but I bought the set of three. You can buy them individually, or you can buy the whole set of five, depending on your weight. Um, there's a graph that shows you like how many pull-ups you can do unassisted and your weight and to which bands you should use or if you should use two bands. This says I should use two bands, so I'm using two bands. Um, they recently got really stuck together um, so I put some <laughs> talcum powder or well, actually baby powder but don't tell anyone um, so they don't stick together but yeah these are fab and these are the ones that come with a wee towel which is actually a flannel um, but it's handy for the gym if there are no blue towels so you know not bad not bad for the price <laughs> I'll put all the prices below because I don't know the exact amount that I paid but then this may vary depending on when you buy them. Who knows? Oh yes, and my Ravenclaw bag. Oh, I don't know if this is, oh, it's recording, fab. Next up, I've got my Bluetooth headphones, which come in this wee little pouch, which is just adorable, and here they are. So I 
uh, found these online on Amazon, as pretty much all my products are, and these were like 20 quid. And you wrap it around and they also magnetize, so you can have it as a very bad necklace, like so. So you don't lose them, because otherwise if you have them like this, you could, you know, lose them. And it also has all the mic functions on here. So you can like press play, stop, start, rewind, and there's, it comes with a USB charger thing and you just charge it up like anything else right there. We charger to charge it up. And uh, they're good quality, I wouldn't say they're vertically bad for the price. I love them, they stay in my ears. They're just a little bit chunky in the ear. Um, have I put, no, it does help if you put it in the right one. Let's put it in my left one. Like the round bit goes around. And it's just a little bit chunky. I'll put the other one on as well. Oh, don't know if I can. Um, the only other thing is this sometimes like, oh, I can't hear a lot. This sometimes because it's heavy on that side. But other than that, you've got your bubble squat pad and your, your game for 20 quid, right? Can't go wrong with the 20 quid headphones. And yeah, it comes with a wee bag. Um, the other one is when it runs out of battery, it bleeps like crazy and you're like, stop bleeping, I can't charge it right now, I'm in the gym, okay? Okay. These gloves, I always have my in my bag anyway. These are lifting gloves, but they're not very supportive. Um, I wear these like when I do a lot of pull-ups, um, mainly pull-ups actually, let's be honest, um, because sometimes my hands really, really sore and they bleed, so I put plaster and then put this on and it helps a little bit, but I don't really think they're really necessary unless you're doing a lot of heavy or you're just, you know, I don't know, quite, but I mean, they're good if you have very, very sore hands, but then you lose the grip, so they weren't expensive at all, so yeah, I don't know why I keep saying so, <laughs> but they're always in my bag just in case, you know, you never know when your hands are going to hurt, so on and so forth. <laughs> tom, tom, ta tom, 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 ta tom, tom, tom. My Nike water bottle. Um, this pretty much lives in my bag and I have to keep filling it and seeing how, you know, the water is. Um, it's one of those things, it doesn't leak. Um, it's one of those things you suck. And it's also great for swimming because, excuse me, shh, um, it floats on the water, which is fab. So if you accidentally knock it in the pool while swimming, you don't have to hunt for it at the bottom of the pool. It's good. It. I also have it in pink as well because I love them so much, so much. I have a uh, phone holder that's quite large. Um, you can put your keys in the front one and obviously your phone in the back. Oh, I just put it in my nose. And it also has um, a hole where you can put your headphones in if you don't have Bluetooth headphones. Um, the only issue with this is, I only really wear this for running and honestly, I haven't run in a long, long time. And it just goes on like so and then you can just run. But it does get a bit sweaty at that bit of your arm. But other than that, you know, it does the job, it stays on. It's waterproof too, so it doesn't get your phone wet. Yeah, I got the bigger one. I've got an iPhone 6S, um, this bad boy. Um, but this is for the 6S Plus, 7 Plus. I don't know if the 7 Plus came out when I bought it, but yeah, if it's the larger one. So it's fab, and I think it comes in other colours. Could be wrong. But I like the pink one and the white. White? That's definitely bright yellow. Yes. A stopwatch. Um, I use this for abs um, to tell the time, to tell the time, to keep track of the time. I do have a watch as well, but I find when I'm doing a lot of plank and stuff, it's sort of a bit like trying to go around trying to see the time and what seconds are so I just put this on the floor and press and it also helps with my classes as well I always have a stopwatch so if it, there's the clock isn't in view I've got one and they're so cheap like and then if you don't use it you can put it around your, around your neck you're like a proper sports person but I just it's always in there I always carry deodorant with me. I've got this Shaw spray on at the minute. Um, I sometimes use roll on, not really fussed about either or, to be honest with you, but you know, got deodorant. And I also have spray. I currently have the Hollister Crescent Bay spray um, because you don't want to smell either. And this was cheap too, which is why it's in my bag. I also have a pen, 
let's look what 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 has happened to this what has happened to it, it works though it, it legit still works okay fair whatever whatever i also carry a spare pair of training shoes in my bag because sometimes I wear sportswear that don't have the support cushioning or the grip at the bottom. So I always carry, these are Dual Fusion and Nike Trainer. Um, these have the support for high intensity interval training, which I use um, for training in the gym. Um, I don't really run in, I would never run in these because the, there's no real grip. There's a little bit of grip um, and a little bit of support, but not used for like long distance running, I wouldn't advise. But I have, um, fallen arch anyway so I always use my proper runner shoes which I have on now which are I use my Pegasus um, and I also got some Asics that I use for running oh and I've got to put this shoe on well guys thanks for watching I've now made a complete mess of the studio <laughs> I hope this has helped some of you with what gym equipment to use I can't speak what I hope this has helped people to decide what gym equipment to use and what they really need. Uh, some gyms actually have this equipment, like communal, but sometimes you just want your own, depending on how you're feeling. Um, my gym doesn't have some of this equipment, like it doesn't have a barbell squat pad. Um, it does have boxing gloves, but I like my own, and I like my own bands. Actually, I don't think we have any bands. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, subscribe if you haven't done so already and I shall see you guys very very soon, bye!